Joe Frost. <laughs> I watched Infinity War and Endgame in a row just the other night right. and actually loved them more than I had. Like, I think they're the movies that actually you go, oh, these, these are actually very, mm. like, they, there's a lot in the movies. Yeah. And I actually think they reward, you know, several watches. And I think that that kind of almost constitutes them as cinema. And the arc they have with Thanos and the way they introduce that character and really set up, mm. you know, his backstory and the pain that need, the characters need to go through to sacrifice to, you know, get the end result. And the way that it's intricately plotted and every moment within those movies actually needs to... Like, because the thing about, you know, a theme park ride, you know, that thrill ride... Yeah, I get that idea of going, yeah, I'm going on the Ant-Man ride or I'm going on the, you know, like the Thor ride or whatever. But those Infinity War and Endgame are not that. No. It is five hours of perfectly constructed, like, C character. character. And often that you only have a line or two yeah. to service that character in their relationship but also move the plot forward at the same time. But and to, to me, cinema? that's cinema. Is that's it? A or the, well, why not? You're describing storytelling. Like, but, that could be television. But what constitutes... Yeah, but if this was television, it would be a series of Breaking Bad in that the way that it's so intricately plotted and every bit of it kind of pays off at another time. And, mm. you know, there's not a moment, I think, in Infinity War and Endgame that's really wasted. And they deal with a lot of big themes and yeah. they, you know, characters have to go on all sorts of different journeys. So what differentiates that from... Because yeah, here's what I like, and by the way, I, I love the Scorsese, you know, like some of my favorite films. But his films feel like you're just going name to, three, uh, The Departed, um, and all the other ones, you know, like <laughs> there's a gangster, yeah, there's a gangster C casino, who, and there was a kid who, yeah, looked up the, the, but this is my point is, yeah. his one is just like you've gone to Westworld and you've gone to Gangster, gangster World. World, yeah, like he just makes you know. In a lot of ways, he's just making fantasy mob films. He's also made Hugo, which is a kid's film. Yeah. And The Last Temptation of Christ. Oh, is that Francis but the Mar But the Marvel films have different you know, themes and beats and some of them are pitched more at kids than they are as uh, adults and stuff like that. Well, I guess... All right. To answer the question mm -hmm. of what film lingered with you, I, I went and saw Midsummer, mm -hmm. um, which is by the director who did Hereditary. I didn't yep. particularly like Hereditary, but uh, Midsummer. I don't know if it's a perfect film or what it is, but it stuck with me for so long after I saw it because it was so unique and odd and I felt like what I was seeing was a very specific point of view of a director, like an auteur. There was imagery in it, there was themes in it, there was things in it that to me felt unpredictable, felt unique, felt very specific. Whereas I feel like with a Marvel film or a franchise film, you know what you're going to get. Sure, they are intricately plotted stories and these characters come and they arrive and they all serve a function. But you kind of know where it's going. Like that thing about superhero fatigue is like someone is like, you know, down in the luck or turn their back on society, then is offered, you know, the, the special powers, they must learn to deal with the powers, a villain opposes them and that villain is the inversion of who they are and blah, 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 blah. So that's what I feel like Martin Scorsese was saying was like, yeah, they're yeah. fun, but that's but what, you know on a roller that's coaster. That's not what Infinity War and Endgame are because I think there is lots of surprises in them and they are non-traditional to the superhero film. Are they? Yes. Though, because the good guys win and the bad guys lose. Like, if you're going to roller coaster, it feels like you're going to die. Yeah, but uh, what? But I was, you know like, you won't the, in the end. Spoilers, but if you like do some the of the good, Hobart, yeah, like you some, may die. Some of the good guys die, you know, yeah, in Endgame but, as well. But right? the good guys win in general. But they lost in the first one. Uh, the yeah, but a, we all knew there's a sequel <laughs> coming. <laughs> yeah, but, the, but, but you, you're saying, you know, we, they lost. They have the big battle, you know, at the end of in, Infinity War and mm. then they lose. Yeah. They still lose after it seems like they're going to win. They still lose. And, you know, th that thought process, the villain has a actual motivation like which is one of those things where i go it's not like they've just gone he's a bad guy yeah the villain has a motivation he believes this is that the best, the best way, way to save the universe is to halve the population and if you look at the planet earth right now the <laughs> literally the number this one is where will's manifesto begins <laughs> what i'm saying is thanos had some good ideas okay no but I, but right now it is fair. if you are looking at the climate and you're looking at one of the major problems that this planet has that we're consuming resources because there's so many people resources are being consumed in a way that is unsustainable for the planet yep. so you can understand the motivation behind a villain who says my motivation is that i will kill half of the people i'm yeah. not here to and it's fair i'm not here to destroy random. i'm not going to kill it's everybody it's like pull a number yeah. out of the hat you don't know who's going to no. go 
I'm whatever. not motivated by you know, enmity or like you know like I'm not here to kill everybody on this planet. I'm not you know some blood. I have a motivation, which mm. is that I'm going to kill half of everybody so the universe can survive. And I love punching people. And if I have to karate kick. I love people. punching people. <laughs>